Hello and welcome back, wonderful pupils of Practical Computer Comprehensive School. Is your auntie, Miss Genevieve Onyokore, and this time we're looking at another tutorial video coming from your online approach to learning, and it's on pre-vocational studies for Basic Five, and on our week nine, our ninth week work, and our theme on this particular subject and topic is agricultural science and the topic we're looking at is farm records when you hear the word records you know it's all about keeping down or jotting down taking down informations activities transactions affairs that happens periodically or time to time or on daily basis just periodically in a particular aspect of work and this time we're looking at the aspect of the farm record but before we go through to today's topic or today's tutorial we'll look let's know our learning objectives So from what is stated so far, it says that by the end of this lesson, learners, you who is the learner, should be able to one, tell the meaning of farm records, and two, tell the types of farm records. So don't be scared, just stay tuned, stay focused, and you will get to be able to achieve or meet these objectives. Let's keep learning. What you're viewing right now are the meaning and reasons for keeping farm records in Nigeria. But what we're going to see is the meaning on this particular side, the meaning and why farm records are seen as waste of time. Simply put, that farm record or farm account is a record that shows the movement of money in and out of the business, the farm business. Farm record is not mostly kept, and the two major reasons why farm records are not mostly kept are because in Nigeria, farmers are not educated, and therefore they cannot keep farm records. I mean, look at, remember, like I said, a record means putting down informations. Informations could be like the amount spent or the amount gotten on the daily activities of the farm. Information could also be the crops that got spoiled or the crops that got harvested or the crops that were used on the daily activities of the farm. All these are records that are to be kept pertaining the farm activities. Now, farmers in Nigeria, truth be told, we sparingly have educated farmers. Yes, people look at farmer farming job of farmers as 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 menial workers or farming job as a menial work an underrated work um a work that shouldn't that isn't highly valued but believe me when it comes to uplifting the economy of a particular society or nation we have oil yes which is a major source of income because we make use of it daily, look at transportation, whether people are dying or burning, transportation is an ongoing and never stopping process. And what does transportation use to be able to exist is what? Oil. So that's why oil is one of the source of income. But apart from oil, there's another significant source of income for a nation, which is agriculture, which is what? Agriculture. So we underrate or overlook the importance of agriculture in our society to the extent that those that engage in it are just commercial farmers people that engage in it for just um, um satisfying their feeding needs their family feeding needs and not sorry they 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 are not commercial farmers they they just do it for themselves do you understand so people don't engage into farming to as a real business 
or as a business that will uplift them. You mean you, I mean you can't see someone who went to school and graduated, come out bagging a degree or a certificate, going into the farm. They be like, no, this is not what I'm cut out for. But that is us falling by for our pride. I don't see when you get to understand what farming can do for you, you find out that working outside there for someone else is you wasting your whole lot of youthful age and time and stress. And at the end, when you are retired, old and weak, you fall back to farming to feed yourself till the person dies, which is a wrong decision. It is a wrong decision. Why not use your youthful age and time to invest in farming? Because farming, like oil, is something that goes on and on. It can never be overlooked. It can never be overrated or underrated because you can't do without feeding. I mean, when someone says that farming is highly important, it is not an overstatement. Do you get it? It is not something says, said out of what? Uh, 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 um, when you're boasting or you're trying to exaggerate things. No, it's not something said out of exaggeration. It is a truth, not just a fact. It is a truth that farming is one of the highly important, highly important activity that should never be underlooked yes so why i'm emphasizing on the way we underlook farming is because when we're talking about farm records it is not kept in nigeria i mean if anybody said they keep farm record in nigeria you should know that it is one out of a thousand one out of a thousand that keeps farm records but i mean because why do why do they not keep it because the people who engage in farming are mostly illiterate who can't keep such information they don't know how to write so how far write what happened in the farm i mean why write it down when i know that what i did is correct that's what they tell them, they tell themselves but i mean in the office why put down information when you know that what you did is correct you know there are reasons why we put down this information we will look at them, but let's look at the next major reason why people don't keep farm records in Nigeria. It's a number two here said, the need for proper record keeping is not widely appreciated within the family community. And as a result of this, they see it as a waste of time. Within the farm community, they see it as a waste of time because it is not widely appreciated. Widely appreciated means they don't see the advantage of keeping farm records. Yes. They don't see the advantage why they should keep farm records. So let's look at the advantages of keeping farm records or the importance of keeping farm records and see why we should encourage ourselves and people around us to engage into farming right now. You've seen during this COVID-19 break, it kind of shook everybody yes everybody was shaking yes so all you have to do is to back yourself up with something that can never fail and apart from god agriculture can never fail you whatever it is you engage into in, as long as it's agricultural basis you will definitely gain more than 100 percent of what you invested let's look at the advantage of the importance of keeping farm records without wasting much of our time importance of farm records he said true from farm records number one a farmer figures out whether he is making profit or loss yes through farm records you figure out whether you're making profit or loss you just harvested something from your farm maybe you bought the seedling when you bought it you bought that seedling it was a, a seedling of yam you bought it maybe 100 naira you planted it you applied um fertilizer you weeded it you paid people money to plant it for you you applied fertilizer which you also bought 
you paid people money to read it and when you were investing it you paid money when you record all this money spent so far you figure out that that's yam that had ha, um somehow that had germinated and grown and you harvested which is quite big shouldn't be sold at that exact amount you bought it because you have invested more amount if you calculate the amount of the sorry the amount of the quantity of fertilizer you've um, poured on that particular plant within that period of time and the money you spent on paying people to work for you for that period of time because if you're within a farm like it, it could be done three times in a year like or every three three months or every four four months you read the farm till you harvest it maybe you can read it three times before you harvest or two times before you harvest it depending on how weed in the farm grows some farmlands are so fertile that their weed always grows yeah that these are signs of fertile land and it costs more to manage to maintain though the output is always appreciating but you also spend more and you put that into consideration while selling your harvested crop but you can't just say i bought 100 if i sell it 100 naira, it's 100 percent gain whereas you've spent money for fertilizer due to farm record not kept you didn't take that into note you spent money for job people who came into with it but due to farm record not kept you didn't take that into note and you just made a loss so with farm record you will be able to determine if you're making profit or loss number two he periodically goes through his records to find out how well his farm business is doing yes a farmer could purchase 22 yam seedlings i always use yam seedlings okay let's use something else um how about we talk about animals this time you get um a carton of chicken or let's say in the carton there are 24 chicks and you get them to rear and within three months time i mean like broilers within three months time you sell them and out of the um cost of rearing it and the time so far you realize that you got 24 right and when you they were ready to be sold you were seeing 18 but due to the big and clustering everywhere you wouldn't notice the loss of six and the feed you gave them you don't know how well the farm business is doing by when you sell them maybe you're supposed to realize say you spent total a bag of feed let's say it's, let's just assume an amount 200 naira a chicken the carton of chicken is 500 naira everything is 700 naira and let's say you spent like you used like 10 bags to feed them before they grew do you get me that 10 bag is 2000 naira plus the 500 naira chicken that is 2500 and when they had grown you sell each chick because remember you bought 10 24 chickens for 500 naira if we should divide it you're getting less than a chick less than um 25 or 20 naira for one and when you are selling you now say let you sell it to 200 naira by the remaining 18 there you'll be realizing 3600 naira why someone else who did took the same expense but made sure he kept his record we notice that he should sell above 200 and he will still sell above 200 and make higher profits than you made do you get it why thanks to what the farm records he kept on expenses he made prior to rearing those chicken do you get it number three says past and present information about activities and transactions that takes place in the farm are kept for future referencing we don't just do it for now in the future your child or your relative might come up to ask you and when you're telling them and um, that time uh, 
That time I bought the chicken was it 14 naira or I'm not too sure. Um, that kind of thing is not um a reliable information. You don't you're not giving them a reliable data, a reliable information. They came to get a reliable information from a, a practical farmer, which you claim to be because you are rearing animals and you are a practical farmer. But what you're giving them because you don't have the records kept and not what reliable. Do you understand it? When you speak um, based on records kept, you speak with affirmation, you speak with alacrity, you speak with assurance that you know what you're doing. And they will know when they are going to venture into such business, they will be sure because they got information from a resourceful person. Do you get it? We keep records not just for the present use or for the forthcoming use. We also keep it for referencing. Referencing means something you can bounce back to in future for remembrance, for advice, or even for guidance. Do you understand? So these are the importance of farm records. And farmers don't see this importance, and that is why they don't keep it. When they get to notice this importance, though we put farm recording as important as being a farmer is. See you in another tutorial video. Don't forget to do your class activity in the class activity section. Hope you enjoyed these tutorials. If you have any shortcoming, don't forget to tell me at the discussion panel. Love you. Bye for now.